If you're planning your warm weather vacation, a visit to Southern Idaho and the Thousand Springs area of the Magic Valley offers a mixture of relaxing activities, adventure, and fun for the entire family. With affordable accommodations available in the local hotels, inns, lodges, even RV parks and campgrounds, whatever your taste, Southern Idaho offers a solution. In the Magic Valley, the road less traveled will take you to some of Idaho's most prized treasures. The Thousand Springs State Park System offers easy access from the scenic byways to the spectacular canyons, springs, and vistas that harbor the riches of the valley. There's actually nine different park areas. Some of them are attached to other, other parks, but there's nine separate entrances to different areas within this, within this system. We manage close to 2,200 acres of public land to help people enjoy it. We got off the highway in Bliss and came down through um, Hagerman. We spent the night in Hagerman. Um, and then we have just been kind of stopping off on all the little, we went to the fish hatcheries and Ritter Island. So we've been definitely enjoying the scenic byway. Thousand Springs gets its name from the abundance of natural springs that pour from the canyon walls and cascade into the Snake River below. Crystal Springs and Niagara Springs parks offer an opportunity to see some of the clearest and purest spring water found anywhere in the world and are great stops for hiking or a picnic and the great fishing at Crystal Lake. This is the end of the Snake River Aquifer where the aquifer does dump out its water and the water temperature is 58 degrees year round. I've seen people down here snorkeling in this creek right here in December and it's 20 degrees outside, so there's just all kinds of fun stuff to do here. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it down here. Summertime, it's just amazing to come down here and go fishing and, and uh, just meet different people down here. There's waterfowl hunting along the areas that border the park, uh, down at Billingsley Creek. People access to, to hunt ducks. Here along Ritter Island, people will access this whole area behind me for fishing, canoeing, kayaking, just any kind of day use activity you can think of, we have it around here. It's so nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Every weekend we've been out, we've had a great time. We've seen so much wildlife already just, Today. just this morning. Malad Gorge uh, first became a state park in 1976. It's a, a gorge and river. The uh, river's 12 miles long, one of the shortest in the country. It was formed from mega floods and the, and the water erosion. There's a lot of neat geological features to see. We've got the, the Devil's Wash Bowl is one of our biggest attractions. It looks like the face of the devil overlooking the river. Check out available overnight and weekly accommodations on our social network at southernidahotravel.com and visit all of Idaho at visitidaho.org. Adventures in Living.